on this episode of Worthy of Me. I'll be showing a small portion of bloopers from my live playthrough of the letter. If I do force my way in and find something unpleasant, how am I going to fight back? With my camera? Free freaking fatal frame this bitch, that's right. That gives me a pause. That gives me a minute pause. Is it just me or does he have a long chapter? <laughs> okay, <laughs> well. <laughs> I said that at a perfect moment, didn't I? Marianne. Marianne McCulloch. Birthday, July 14th. Cancer. She looks like cancer. Just kidding. She's kind of hot. Sorry, but you have an ugly looking cat. Ashton and Luke. The two I'm actually interested in. I don't really give a shit about Marianne. Marianne can die for all I care. <laughs> that can be arranged. <laughs> oh, I'll arrange it, don't you worry. Unless I accidentally let her live. Does she have the hots for Hannah? She's like, damn, she's smoking hot! I'll be her husband for a day. My home away from home ever since I moved to Luxborn. Well, that's when I'm not cooped up in my condo and working anyway. She's like a raging alcoholic then? <sighs> I didn't peg her as that either. I love singing. Anyone could just break out into a drinking song, and the others in the pub were just wonderful that they'd start singing along. And doing so while intoxicated is the best of ways to go about it. Wow, I'm seeing a whole new Marianne here. Are we gonna hear her sing? I hope she sings good. Don't be tone deaf, please. What better time than to try and sing all my worries away? That's what my intoxicated brain tells me. The ghost of guilt and sorrow remembers who I am. And in the prison of my heart, I was my only slave. Girl can hit them notes. Keep going. Oh, really? I lied to the Lord, I lied to myself, I lied to you and everyone I care until there were no more lies to tell. That's a lot of lies to tell before there are no lies to tell. <laughs> Let's not talk about a letter, okay? Camilla's diamond engagement ring gleams as she holds it up for all the world to see. Marianne would be a perfect match for freaking Luke. She has reason to be proud, three years of living together, and her boyfriend finally asked her the big question. Obviously, she said yes. To another guy. Don't get too attached to that ring or the one after, sweetie. I was wearing a wedding ring not so long ago and look at where I am. Wow, way to be positive. But enough of me being a downer. Cheers to a happy engagement! I'd be like, can you like not be a bitch? Okay. Wow. Wow. You play Dungeons and Dragons? Hey, look at me. I'm Marion McCullough, a lawful neutral cleric with nine points in wisdom and eight in charisma, but I can't get myself a date. Wow. She really went there. She really is a nerd. Actually, maybe she isn't looking for a Mr. Right, but a Mrs. Right. Oh, my Marianne, we still love you even if you're in the closet. Well, I mean, she's gonna meet up with a Miss Right, so... Wow, check out Wow Wow. Alone with a stranger. Hey! Fancy seeing him in a bar. Fancy a drink? It'll be on me. It's because I'll pour it on you. Whiskey, as I have come to call him, is supposedly 21 years old, single, takes care of his sick mother, and is a manager of some sort. What? I would have never guessed. This whole game has been built on a lie. <laughs> oh yes, 
I told him that I was a professional chocolate taster. Because fuck it. If I'm going to lie about what my job is, might as well make it fun. <laughs> Why not just say a dildo taste? <laughs> not taster, tester. <laughs> oh, gosh, those people have lives, don't they? But they don't hate their job. You know, I've never been with a woman taller than me. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I'm a dirty little whore. Let's do it. <laughs> there you go. So, Luke, if you want to be with me, you need to make a charisma check of eight penalty. <laughs> Saying, Lucy, help me. Help me turn away from sin. Help me with my own blindness. Please give me a choice. My place isn't too far from here. I won't take care of you if it ends up being too much for you. And no one will be able to hear you if you try to scream. You sure you want to go down that road, pretty boy? Hold up, is she into BDSM? Because I wouldn't put it past her at this point. There wasn't even a choice, they just do it? Alright. <laughs> cool. Didn't get to say anything, I'm kind of like disappointed. Oh, was it good? Was it bad? Why does that room so, look so bland? Like, the only interesting thing is that anime poster. And then that realistic picture that's on her desk beside the computer, what? <laughs> Come on. Is there anime on her desk? Quantum. Quantum something. Quantum suicide. Is that a thing? Is that an actual anime? Roughness is to be expected. Oh yeah, she's, she's into BDSM. Am I gonna have to like, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> blank over this? Am I gonna regret the words that I read on the screen? Wait. Don't be a buzzkill. What is it now? Yes, what is it now? He don't even look drunk no more. I think he's sober. <laughs> Alcohol is just like... What's it gonna be, Marianne? To sex or not to sex? What kind of question is that? What question is he? Yes, nothing, nothing, never mind. Nothing, never mind. <laughs> we somehow make it safely into my bed, and I don't even feel it as he pins me down. <laughs> we're not gonna say it, we're just, okay, we're gonna call it it. Yo, God! <laughs> mm. It's still okay. <laughs> I think it's still okay. <laughs> it's okay. There's no nipple showing. <laughs> this isn't about pleasure. I should probably read fast. This is about punishment. There's nothing in general but a kiss between us. All tongue, teeth, and roaming hands. <laughs> Control loop can't get it right. <laughs> we got nothing to worry about. Well, I don't know. He impregnated that one girl, right? Supposedly. He's all out of breath, but he dressed pretty quickly, I think. It was a prayer. Like... Oh god, fuck me! <laughs> I like it. Can I get him to say that line again? <laughs> it isn't often that I think about drinking on the job. But after meeting with the rights yesterday really makes me want to break my self-imposed rules. Because first off, fucking damn whiskey was fucking damn Mr. Right. So many books, so little time. Skimming the books and seeing so many wonderful titles gives me great pleasure. Every time I see titles, I think of another words. It's like, damn that sex scene. The misreading experience. I mean, do you even know which architect was at the forefront of 18th century Irish architecture? A beat. She blinks, and I can't help the smirk on my face. Which is wiped off when she opens her mouth. Edward Lovett Pierce, who established the Palladian style through his work with Castletown House and the Irish Houses of Parliament. Oh shit, Marianne, you got served. You know, I'm pretty sure I have library books in my room. From like when I was... 20 or something. <laughs> That's why I never go to the library. They're gonna be like, uh, you have overdue books? That'll be like $500 for the late fee. La blessure, c'est trouvant. 
sans aucune sorte de conséquence. Marianne, you need to like not turn me on with your accent, okay? We already had a sex scene. This is too much. Oh, oh of course we have a reminder here. Thanks, game. Yeah, just in case I want to see it again. You know what? Let's just go ahead and see it again. Like, this is what happened, guys. This is what happened right here. Yeah. Yeah, it happened. There's freaking proof. Hana. Oh, look, there's a help me. I never even noticed the help me freaking chain letter was here. Oh my god, Marion's being a bitch. Probably have your nose stuck in front of a smartphone when you're not working, even when you should be working, playing this mindless addictive games. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. You like video games! Look at that! It's in the likes section. Pot me kettle. How should I respond? Bitch, back off. Well, she's being a snothead right now, so let's continue being a snothead. I don't have time for this. Just spit it out. Does she like me? She doesn't like me. How'd she get so high up there? She's like, wow. Okay. Let's give me a few more choices. Those minuses will keep piling up. <laughs> okay. Challenge accepted. What a bitch. I heard that. What did you say? I didn't say anything. But then there's a crash. I nearly spilled tea all over my lap in surprise, and I look up expecting security to come running. Even the man at the kitchen counter continues to fix breakfast like he heard nothing. <laughs> oh, they're just being rough upstairs again. It's fine. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This is worse than the freaking cellar. Is this something from her past? Like, I've heard it before. Yeah, it is. Is it her? Oh, it's gotta be her. Shit. <laughs> that was unnecessary. Is that any way to say hello to a good friend? <laughs> a good friend. We aren't friends. Let's get that straight first off, Mr. Wright. We're something more. We're friends with benefits. Let's ignore the problem. I want nothing more than to punch the fuckers and show them what for it, but I have to remind myself to stay calm. No matter what I feel for this man, no matter how much I want to cuss him out and spew over profanity in the book and then some, he's still my client. Did he go up? What the fuck? Oh wait, he did. <laughs> he's pretty low down there, huh? I don't imagine that knocking- wait, why is- is he so low? We had sex with him, damn it. He should be higher than that. Oh god, the sex is why it's low. Well, no wonder it took you friggin' seven years to make a baby, dude. That's a lot of pancakes. That's... That's a lot of pancakes. I'd maybe be able to eat one. Actually, I'd prefer to keep the place looking as it is. But at the same time, I want modern appliances. I want more Assassin's Creed. We're talking about the whole series. The Egypt, the Odyssey. I don't know what other ones there are. Very assassiny, that's what I want. You worked on the Ludgate's Christchurch summer residence. I do remember there being an oven I thought was a simple drawer before. I want booby traps, damn it. Ones that I don't even know about. I want to be surprised around every corner. I can just imagine being like, are, are, are you sure? I mean, <laughs> fatality. Oh, and I need paramedics on standby at all times, just in case. <laughs> Yes, but I didn't expect a mansion to be so big. 
she's with Luke. She's used to small things, you know? Bear with her here. A walk-in closet is easy enough, but the garage? They sound like they're saying garbage. It's garage, not garage, okay? It's like that one word, lasagna. Everybody kill calls it lasagna, you know? It's like, pfft. Hooked on phonics, bros. It's Lasagma. Scouts a property and circles a perimeter on foot. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you do know this is 46 acres of land, sir. You've got, you've got two feet, Johans. Is that his name? God, I don't even know. I think it's Johans. Well, you are not driving a car over the grass. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. It feels so old and dead in here. <laughs> Speaking of old and dead... Much like the piano, I didn't take him for a person who liked flowers. Daffodils, least of all. Yeah, daffodils aren't really... They don't have a really good flair for attention, I don't think. I think those are the yellow ones, right? I think daffodils just remind me of freaking... Uh, the weeds outside. The weeds that got. I can't even remember their name. Now I can think of sunflowers. <laughs> are those daffodils that are weeds? Maybe. Maybe not. See, this is weird. Like, isn't the ground floor the first floor? And wouldn't the check the first floor be the second floor? But really, how big of a scumbag can one person be? <laughs> oh, you wonder. But the knocking has not ceased. You know what? Just cement that thing. Cement over it. <laughs> Maybe that'll keep her in there. <laughs> the hell did the cat get in there? Where'd that come from? How did they even get down there? Yeah. <laughs> Questions need to be answered. And it gets me curious. Oh man. A cat just came out from under there and she's curious. Curiosity killed the cat. Oh my lord. We're in the wine cellar. I don't want to be down here. Until I feel something crunch beneath my feet. I was gonna say she stepped on a <laughs> litter of kittens. <laughs> what a waste of wine. Look it, look it up. Why is it so sticky though? Ugh. Oh my god, it is blood, isn't it? It's thick too. Ah, uh, blood's thicker than wine. Of course, it could just be mold. Maybe it's not wine. Go on, touch it. I dare ya. Who in the fudge is this bitch? <laughs> Despite it all, I find myself answering. Is that- I don't even like- I remember her talking about some girl she knew. Is that her past girlfriend or her past friend? I assume girlfriend maybe? Because it's her voice. Amy Lorraine. Lovely Amy. Pretty Amy. I can imagine her standing there with me, laughing and pestering me as I did my work in the only way friends can. Okay. The doll still doesn't explain if she's a girlfriend or not, but... Hey man, ectoplasmic goo is a thing. Don't you watch Supernatural? It is invisible, unless one is really paying attention. But I can see the red gunk seeping through a crack in the wall. What's this then? Oh god. It's like, isn't... well, I don't know. I don't think this is like the Telltale Heart. It is one of those stories, though. Someone gets cemented behind a wall, and no one knows about it. Suddenly she touches my arm and I flinch away in shock. That... that shouldn't be possible. I understand auditory hallucinations, maybe even visual hallucinations, but that was... You look surprised. What's wrong? Lady. <laughs> Go away. You what the hell is going on here? Oh, isn't it obvious? I come back for you. Uh. So that we can be together again. 
Uh, I've moved on. Go away. Throw salt at her. <laughs> when she touches me once more, I recoil. What does she mean together again? She's dead. What do you think it means? Come on. It seems you are in good company already, after all, with this house and your imaginary friend. Good company? Pfft. Wait, we're leaving already? But I haven't finished inspecting the rest of the house. Let me guess, she's been down here for like, what, three hours? Be that as it may, there's a sulking man-child up there who wishes to go home. We are all subject to his whims, lest he throw a tantrum. Thank you for watching this episode of Worthy Me. If you found it worthy, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love you have this part of our community. And I'll see you all on the next episode.